The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gather wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee, and of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Greetings, salut, hola, and lafia. Welcome to Biblio Apologetics, a hub for seeing biblical truth in history, geography, anthropology, and logic. The biblical record of the great flood with Noah building the ark and putting each animal species in it is considered mythical today. The question then remains, is the biblical narration a myth or a true event? From Native Americans to societies in Europe, Asia, and Africa, various traditions have tales of a great deluge that once upon a time ravaged planet Earth. Although an isolated tale by itself might not necessarily serve as a convincing evidence of an actual event, patterns in tales recounted by societies separated by thousands of miles reveal in the least that there is a hint of truth in them. Before the development of writing, oral tradition was the norm. Therefore, it is highly likely that the Great Flood was an actual event. The evidences that support the Great Flood do not stop at tales. Archaeologists and geologists have over the years discovered flood deposits, marine life, carcasses, and remains far from sea, and many other discoveries that prove that there was, once upon a time, a worldwide flood. Perhaps we need to rethink the way scientific researches are conducted and the conclusions we infer from them. Over the years, numerous discoveries were made of cities and entire civilizations buried underwater. Although the natural tendency is to ascribe these discoveries to natural phenomena, the Ice Age 
and rising sea levels, it is evident that some of these societies were not destroyed slowly over a long period of time, but their destruction was abrupt, with the Great Flood being the likely candidate. Although science can be used to show that the Great Flood was an actual event, the greatest and most important evidence is the Word of God. God ordained the beginning of the Great Flood and its end. He proceeded to enter into a covenant with man in the form of the rainbow that the earth will never be destroyed by the flood again. And his word remains true to this day. The conclusion then is God said it and that settles it. Thank you for watching. I will be heading to the mission field in Africa this upcoming Friday and cannot promise to upload a video every week because I will be far from the city sometimes with no access to the internet. I promise, however, to write the scripts and upload videos whenever possible. Please keep me in your prayers. May God bless you and remember, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven.